Hi guys, Moro Edge allows some degree of customization out of the box. I wanted to share what the phone can do to make it a little bit more interesting. Let's go. Moro uh, provides this app. That's his model here. You tap on it, I'll show you the screen. And they show you menu for all kinds of customizations. For example, if you tap on personalize, then you'll see this screen that says styles, wallpapers, layout, fingerprint animation. Let's go to styles for now. And then they show you this preview like so. And you can tap on this plus icon here. And this is where you can customize how your screen looks. And if you tap on these, then you can see changes. And let's pick this one and you tap on next. And they'll let you choose a color from seven colors. Whatever the color that you choose here will be reflected in the control panel here. And if you tap on yellow, it changes color here because this is a preview you get. You can see all these different colors that you can pick from. Uh, let's pick yellow for now. Tap next. They let you choose the icon shape as well, which is cool. And if you tap here, this is how it looks. And then if you tap here, then it's like semi square. Tap here, and it's very much square. They let you choose the font, the color, and the shape of the icon, which is nice. Let me pick this for now, just to see how it looks. And I tap next. Here you can see how many rows and how many columns you want for your screen. Tap next. And then you can save what you just made and you can name it. So I tap here and let me just name it to Zap. Tap done. And then once you save, it'll show up here. This is default. This is what we just created. Now, if I just tap apply, and you can see here, I scroll it down here and bam. Now, if I also tap on the settings and go to the settings and, and you can see the toggle switch. Now it's shown in yellowish orange color as well. So like the color you pick uh, will be reflected not only on these icon colors, but also the toggle switches as well, and which is nice. And the color you pick here will be maintained even if you want to use dark mode. You apply a dark theme, tap on it. The color you pick will be maintained. So that's a nice touch. So that was the styles you can do. And if you want to go back to the default, all you have to do is just tap on default and apply. Now it's back to the default color. Very easy. You go back to the styles, tap on zap. Now, and you can also customize the fingerprint animation as well. If you tap here, it'll show the fingerprint animation like so. By default, it's set to radial waves. And this is what you'll see when you unlock the phone with your fingerprint. I'll show you here. You press your thumb here. Wow. Okay, let's check out the other um, animation as well because they provide three. Let's tap on Boomerang. And let's check the last one, Chroma Dial. Tap on this and this is what you get. That's cool. For now, I'll go back to the default radial waves. Let's get out of here. I wanna go to the settings. Now, this is the interesting feature. Uh, when you tap, on icon, you can interact to some degree. You can reply, you can archive, and you can do more. From this screen, you just tap on this and drag your finger like this, and you'll see it says view all. And if you release your finger, then you can read the email. If you drag your finger and go to here and release your thumb, 
you'll dismiss all the latest email notification from the lock screen. And likewise, if you tap and you can see what the news is about, if you drag your finger up to this thumbs up button and it says useful, and if you drag it to the right and not useful or dismiss. And you can do these actions right from the lock screen. So this is a nice feature. Hey, so I like that Motorola offers some degree of customization baked in the software level. It does not allow you to assign a custom color on app-to-app -app basis, but it allows you to pick a color of your choice to be applied to all the notifications, control panel, toggle switches, and the menu. I also like the interactive lock screen that allows you to not only pick the content of each notification, but also let you choose to take action directly within the lock screen. Like you can view, dismiss, or go straight to the email app, dislike or like, useful or not useful while you are still on the lock screen. That means you don't need to unlock the phone, look for the particular app icon, open app, and do what you need to do. Less steps or taps you need to do to do things you want is better because it makes you more efficient. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my sharing. See ya.